A little bit chilly at the old ballpark as the Trojans won over to Elgin for their conference uh, doubleheader opener of the campaign. Uh, this report brought to you by John Cuvalier of Insurance Associates of Lawler. You can see the wind was blowing, especially early on, blowing out. Not a good news usually for pitchers. But the Trojans went to Riley Busta in the first game, and the wind did not bother him at all as uh, he went to work on uh, the team from Valley and actually no hit him through the first uh, three innings of play, really looking uh, sharp. He's only a sophomore, but Riley came up with the, the, the victory. He was even tough to bunt, as uh, you can see here. But here he lost the no-hitter on this blooper in the fourth inning with uh, one out. But he would quickly uh, settle down to go to work and really established himself. Uh, there he strikes out the hitter to end uh, the inning with a couple of runners on. Parents, of course, very proud of young Riley doing a super job. Also got some super help. Watch Brooks Milbrand here in left field, a runner on. Could have turned things around. It was 7-0 Trojans at that point of the game. And uh, Brooks Milbrand, who had a big night at the plate, drove in five runs at five hits and made a spectacular play uh, right there for the Turkey Valley Trojans and uh, now we're going to watch uh, the last inning of play Jordan Mitchell uh, came on in relief and uh, he struck out the first guy he faced and then would get an easy uh, tap back as uh, he, he really didn't uh, have to throw very many pitches there in the seventh uh, to put away uh, the uh, team from Valley. There's a strikeout right there. Now here's a, here's a ground out uh, to uh, end the old ball game. 11-1 Turkey Valley win in the opener of the campaign. As far as the uh, uh, conference goes, Turkey Valley wins it. Coach Dan is stepping uh, very happy, and we'll take a look at the second game right after this. When obtaining the coverage you and your family need, an insurance agent is only as good as the service they provide. And John Kuvalier of Insurance Associates of Waller will provide you with the best possible service. Plus, John is an independent agent. So if it's for your auto, your home, your farm, your crop, or your business, you know you can trust John Kuvalier of Insurance Associates of Waller. Give him a try. Another game, another Busta, another sophomore to pitch for you, and and also doing an excellent job, uh, Ryan Busta. Started a little bit uh, shaky, gave up some hits early, uh, two in the first, and then a hit leading off the second, but then would retire the last uh, 12 batters he faced. Brees to the 13 to nothing victory. Trojans got one in the second, five in the third, and then seven in the fifth uh, for the easy win. There you're watching uh, Ryan on easy plays. He said he threw only 38 pitches in the game after the game. I didn't get the official count on that, but he didn't throw very many. You're seeing a lot of one pitch outs there. There, that one got away from him a little bit, but he didn't walk anybody. There's a bunt, and Ryan makes the play to throw over to Adam Schaffenbuehl at first base, and that was a ball game. Really a pretty efficient effort uh, by the Trojans. Big nights offensively from Brooks Milbrand. Five hits, five RBI, four runs scored. Marshall Rosenbaum, four hits, three doubles, four RBIs, four runs scored for Marshall. They had the two big bats in the lineup. Michael Novotny had a couple of hits, uh, three runs scored, uh, three RBIs on the night, a couple of hits for Adam Schaffenbuehl. Good to see him get going uh, here uh, a little bit uh, on the night, and Adam scored uh, three runs, had a double. So a good night uh, for the Trojans, uh, winning at 11-1, 13-0 over Valley, 2-0 now in Upper Iowa Conference play, and 5-1 for the campaign. Uh, This report on Turkey Valley Baseball brought to you by John Cuvalier of Insurance Associates of Lawler.